All right, uh, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Dr. Mark P. Otten here from Cal State Northridge. Uh, this is a golf psychology um, YouTube channel that I am starting up and hopefully uh, going to populate with lots of uh, golf course video logs uh, filled with videos of me hitting the ball into the water. I mean, hitting the ball into the fairway and onto the green. <laughs> uh, and analyzing the psychology of golf. So this introduction is designed to give you an idea of what to expect. Um, uh, this, I'm uh, posting this video at the end of 2022, along with a very soon a three course video logs that I filmed this fall. And uh, the point of this uh, channel is to give you an idea of what a professional sports psychologist like myself might think about when playing golf. Um, I, my current handicap is uh, for golf is about a 10. So I'm not an amazing golfer. I'm also not a terrible golfer. Uh, so this uh, video series is not as much about me and my golf as much as tips for you in two areas. Number one is uh, the golf course that I uh, will be um, showing and previewing and giving you a guide to as I go along. Number two is the uh, psychology of golf in general. So um, I've got some ratings set up for each hole that I'm going to show you here. So let's get into it. All right, so we've got a fear rating and a fun rating. So there's two sides to sports psychology here. Generally, there's a positive side and a negative side. A lot of sports psychologists focus on trying to um, uh, make sure that athletes avoid the negative side, the anxiety, the stress, the choking under pressure. A lot of my research over the years has been focused on the positive side, which is the excitement, the fun, the clutch performance under pressure. And so when you approach a, a hole on a golf course, you're probably going to experience a little bit of both, um, or maybe mostly fun and less fear on a easier looking hole. It looks like it's got some nice features to it. Some of them might be the reverse where you're a little bit scared of hitting the ball into the water, or the bunker, or whatever it is. So I'm going to uh, give you some of these ratings as I go around. Generally speaking, um, we have uh, a lot of research here that on various sports that will inform my uh, ratings and my um, presentations uh, going forward. So uh, this is our chance to get nerdy for just a second. Um, I'm going to be nerdy on and off <laughs> throughout my videos because that's who I am. But uh, this is uh, just a... a an example of current research, I guess maybe in the last five years, that has come out um, on the successful side of performance. The things that athletes can do and coaches can help them with, um, psychologists can help them with. Uh, and this one is an example of, this is a group down in Australia that is doing some really good research on the positive side, the successful performance under pressure in sports. They talk about two states clutch, which is like, there's pressure, pressure has arrived, and I'm now going to perform even better than usual because I'm ready and I'm excited and I'm feeling good about it. And I'm a clutch player, maybe uh, something along those lines. And then there's flow. Flow is more the feeling of being in the zone where you're just, there doesn't necessarily have to be pressure. Uh, you're just really comfortable. The demands of, in this case, the golf course meet your skill level. So you're able to, to uh, perform it at your highest level and sustain that for a period of time. And so these two feelings, the clutch feeling and the flow feeling, they overlap. Sometimes you can be in both, which is amazing. Sometimes you can be in flow, but there's not necessarily pressure. Sometimes you can give a clutch performance when you've maybe stunk it up all day, but then you perform well at the end. <laughs> so uh, these are some things, this, this kind of research is going to inform my... Uh, adventures around the golf course and also these ratings that I was talking about. So what do I look for? Well, for fear ratings, there's small greens, narrow targets, lots of hazards around. Um, and so if I go around a course, I'm going to notice these things and I'm going to give you a preview of what you might notice as well. And I rank each hole like on kind of like, this is kind of like the handicap system, right? So the easiest hole on a handicap system gets a one, the hardest hole, I'm sorry, the hardest hole gets a one, the easiest hole gets a, an 18. And so in this case, 
uh, the number one fear hole is the one that I project will, will scare you the most, has the most hazards and whatnot. 18 being the easiest. The positive side then is the fun rating, which I'm going to treat the same way. I mean, we play golf. Why, I mean, why do we play golf? Because it's, it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Sometimes it isn't if you're not having a good day uh, or if you're playing for money and there's too much pressure. Um, but nonetheless, uh, if it's a sport that you enjoy, there's reasons why you enjoy it. And so what are some of those reasons? Well, if you approach a specific hole, there might be something about it that's unique. There might be some nice scenery around. You might be in a really, um, at, a, at a course that's in really good condition or is um, the right level of difficulty for you. Um, you've got opportunities for creativity if those, um, uh, if those conditions allow. And then the aesthetics, like I mentioned, there might be some scenery involved. Uh, some, I mean, you might approach a hole and you're like, okay, I have a slice or a fade, let's say. And this hole has a dog leg to the right. Super cool because I'm going to play it down the dog leg and the fade is going to just take it that direction naturally. That's an example of, of where you might approach a hole. You have an idea of what you're going to do and you're excited about it because you feel like you can do it. Another example might be, hey, this is I'm playing a course in Hawaii right now and it's amazing. The scenery is fantastic. I don't even care what my score is. Well, you might want to play well given the scenery. So anyway, those are some examples of, of reasons, solid reasons why you might have fun on a particular course or particular hole. And again here I'm going to rank these holes. So the hardest one in this case is like the most fun. It's like a, a little bit of a, a, um, a negative turn to positive there. So the number one hole in this case is the most fun. And then the 18th hole is the least fun <laughs> out of that particular course. If it's only a nine hole course. I'll just go one to nine. All right. So this is the part that's the, uh, I'm using my uh, statistics background here to, to calculate a little um, uh, composite kind of psychology rating of each hole. So if a hole is number one in fear and like number 18 in fun, well, that's not very common, but anyway, if it's the most fear, like it's it's got hazards all over the place, and it's not at all fun, then you're going to go one minus 18. It's going to be some big negative 17 value. That's going to probably be translate to, uh, us thinking, well, this is, this is a bogey hole. This is a hole that is, I mean, I'm, I'm labeling them birdie holes, par holes and bogey holes. So the ones that are bogey holes are the ones that are going to be the lowest on this rating, the most fearful fear and scary, <laughs> the most scary and the least fun. The birdie holes are the ones that are the most fun and the least uh, scary. Okay, so I based this on like um, the scratch golfer, the one that may, might make six birdies, six bogeys, and six pars to average out to even par for the day. That's not most of us. I know that's not me, <laughs> but it's just my way of categorizing six, six, and six. So the the, whole, the birdie holes are the ones that are maybe the more fun than scary. The bogey holes are the ones that are more scary than fun. And then the par holes are the ones that are in between. So that's the system. Uh, I will be carrying the system along through the videos and the video logs that I uh, uh, will be uh, unveiling on this YouTube channel. And hopefully that gives you an idea of why I'm here and what this is going to look like. It's not it's a channel that's a little bit different, hopefully, than other golf video log channels. Like I said, it's not, not as much about me as it is uh, about you and uh, you potentially visiting one of these courses or learning something about the psychology of golf as we go along. So hopefully uh, it's useful for you and uh, I look forward to thousands, maybe, I don't know, a few at least videos ahead as I go, go along. That's the goal. So uh, looking forward to seeing. Oh, and since I'm a golf YouTuber now, I need to tell you to like this video and subscribe to the channel as you wish.